Hello everybody! As you can see today I am back in the kitchen so that only means one thing. We are going to be having some fun with food today. So for today's experiment we are going to be making our very own homemade butter. So today's experiment is going to be super super simple and very minimal amount of equipment that you need. All you really need is some heavy cream or a high fat cream some kind of jar that you can put your cream into with a lid that'll seal tight and a sieve so I've already mentioned that the amount number of ingredients you need for this experiment are very very minimal and the procedure for it is also very very simple. All you got to do is take your jar, open it, and then take your cream. Mine is called whipping cream or the exact percentage is 35% uh, milk fat. And then all you got to do is pour your cream into your jar here. Clear your jar tight. tight. Make sure it doesn't leak. And then all that's left to do is really just shake it. Okay, so at about seven minutes into shaking, let's check our progress. So let's open this jar up. And oh, wow. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually gotten quite thick now. No longer a liquid state. I sort of stick my finger in there for a sec and then I feel the texture. It's actually quite similar to whipped cream. So with, this is a good sign. That means we're getting there. And I guess that just means let's continue shaking. I have a very exciting update for you guys. Let's check in on our butter here. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but on this side, you can kind of see there's a separation of a, some liquid on this side here, as well as some solids. But let's take a closer look. And wow, would you look at that? So, as you can see here, the solid over here would be your soon-to-be butter. And this sort of pale white liquid on the side that it's kind of submerged in, is something called buttermilk and that's basically all the water that used to be in the cream okay so for the last step what you're going to do is take your new found made butter and then take that sieve and what you're going to do is that you want to drain that buttermilk out so the buttermilk that you get here is very different from the buttermilk that you might find in stores it's not quite as processed the same way so it's not going to taste the same. So what you're going to do is just take your jar and then drain everything out and then get your butter out too. And then you're going to get a little messy here. So what you're going to do is take your hands, make sure that you've washed them before, and just squeeze out any remaining liquid. And then this clump that you have remaining is your very own homemade butter. Now, how about we give it a try, shall we? Okay, so let's get down to the explanation of how we're able to make something as amazing as this. So I kind of mentioned it earlier, but cream is what we call an emulsion. An emulsion is essentially when you have something suspended in another thing. So for the cream, it's made up of fat, that is suspended in water. Fat or fat molecules, which are really, really, really tiny components of that of fat, and just separate them from each other so that they can be in this liquid form. And each fat molecule is surrounded by a little membrane, or think of it like a barrier, that are called phospholipids. And that's a very fancy scientific name for it. And basically, uh, when it's in its cream st or liquid state, the barrier surrounding each little fat molecule is 
intact and keeps the fat molecules apart from each other and prevents them from coming together. But when we do something like shake, shake up the cream, what we're doing there is breaking up the barrier surrounding those fat molecules and allowing the fat molecules to actually come together. And if you shake it hard enough, they actually will stick together and clump up. And basically, because we kept shaking it so much, you ended up becoming forming your clump of butter here. And that liquid so, uh, solution that we drained out with the strainer or the sieve earlier in the sink was the leftover water that all of the fat molecules were suspended in. And basically that's how butter is made. Okay, so now for the exciting part, time to taste test the butter. So I have the butter here as long as a spoon to take a little bit. And then I also have a cracker here for me to try it on. I'm gonna spread that on. And let's see how this tastes. Mm. Yeah, it's butter, definitely butter. It tastes pretty good too. Anyway, I hope that you guys try this exciting little experiment out. Maybe you don't even have to buy your own butter anymore. You can make it at home, show off to your mom and dad or anyone at home. And also, so fun fact is that you don't have to use um, cow milk cream. Um, that's what I used. But you can try experimenting with goat milk, sheep milk, uh, whatever you can find at the grocery store and see if you can also make butter out of that. Just make sure it's a high fat content. And yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy some more of this. Anyway, I hope that you had fun with this very easy experiment and got to make your own very tasty butter. Uh, maybe you can even try experimenting a little bit with trying different percentages of fat of cream. So mine was 35%, maybe you could try something even higher. Maybe try something a little lower but I don't recommend going down to 10%, which uh, is also sometimes called half and half. It depends on where you live um, because there might not be enough fat molecules in your cream there to actually clump up together enough to make a substantial amount of butter. But you can also add in little flavorings to your butter, some salt, some herbs maybe. But anyway, um, if you like this experiment, I hope that you click the like button for the video and make sure to subscribe if you want some more fun experiments like this. Bye!